This is Matthew Cratter from Trade University, and today I want to talk a little bit about why Bcash, BCH, and BSV, Bitcoin Satoshi's vision, are such fragile systems. Now, BTC is the real Bitcoin, and what we're going to be talking about are two failed forks of BTC, or failed copies, BCH and BSV. And that's not just me calling them failed forks, that's actually the free markets themselves, because like most assets, BCH and BSV have been trending to zero against Bitcoin. Here we can see a chart of BCH against BTC. The chart moving down means that BTC is gaining at the expense of BCH. The chart of BSV looks the same, even a little bit steeper. So these are both failed forks. They have market caps that are just a small fraction of what BTC's market cap is is. But in this video, we're not going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about, in particular, the proof of work attached to each of them and what makes Bcash and BSV so vulnerable and fragile. And the basic principle here is this. When you're storing your savings, you want to store it in the most secure place possible. So if, you have, if you're choosing between three safes or three bank vaults, and one of them is made out of straw, one of them is made out of wood, and another is made out of steel. It's very clear in the real world which safe you want to put your money into, and that's the steel safe. And I think we have the same analogy going on here in the crypto world. If you're, if you're enjoying this video so far, I just ask you to hit that like and subscribe button to help support the channel. Now, when it comes to cryptocurrencies, how do we measure how strong a safe is? Well, one way of measuring it is having a very high hash rate. And this is one thing that makes the network more difficult to attack. So we're going to be looking at BTC, BCH, and BSV. And this is a nice and easy comparison because all three of them use the same proof of work algorithm for mining, which is SHA-256. SHA-256 is a hashing algorithm where you put in an input. For example, I've done Bcash as trash here, and then I've added a, a nonce afterwards, just a number. And then you just click calculate SHA-256 hash. And this is what Bitcoin mining machines do, what these ASICs do. And they'll keep changing this number. They'll try to have the hash, the output put have a certain number of leading zero. So there's not, nothing magical about hashing, but we do have these machines now that can do this hashing very, very quickly. And these are called ASICs. These are specialized pieces of hardware. They're mining rigs that do SHA-256, this hash algorithm that I just showed you, more quickly and using less energy than CPUs or GPUs. So they're actually very environmentally friendly in, this, in the sense that they try to produce as many Terra hashes or hashes per second using as little energy as possible. So what this means is that people who own these ASICs, these Bitcoin mining rigs, or these SHA-256 mining rigs, can choose which chain to mine on. They can choose to mine on, on BTC, the real Bitcoin, Bcash, or BSV. So now let's compare the relative network hash rates. And the hash rate of a network is a measurement of all the computing power, all the machines all the ASICs that are hooked up to that network and providing hash to it. Now I'm going to convert everything to PETA hashes or PETA hashes per second simply so we can compare uh, these three hash rates. BSV network has a hash rate of 625 PETA hashes, BCH 17, uh, 1760, and then BTC 347 thousand. So BTC, Bitcoin's hash rate, is 197 times higher than Bcash, and Bitcoin's hash rate is 555 times higher than BSV. You'll see these hash rates move around for these networks. They're a little bit of an estimate. You can look it up on your own node if you're running a Bitcoin node. But the what we're talking about here is many different orders of magnitude. So even if these are a little bit off when you look them up, and I'll provide links so you can look these up, the, the basic principle still holds that Bitcoin's hash rate is much, much higher than Bcash or BSV. Now, why does this matter? Well, it matters because just 0.5%, in other words, a half of a percentage point of BTC miners are able to divert their hash, point their ASICs at these other chains and attack them, attack BCH or attack BSV permanently. And this would leave 99.5% uh, of the ASICs mining BTC, while this very small fraction is out attacking BCH or BSV, either doing double spends or empty block attacks where you don't put trans transactions in your blocks. This is sort of a form of a DOS attack, a denial of service attack, because you can't transact on the network and it really freezes the network for as long as the empty block attack is going on. In the case of BCH or BSV, it'd be very easy for BTC miners to do a permanent empty block attack 
on either of them. Now, the reverse is not true. BCH or BSV miners have zero ability to successfully attack the Bitcoin network since their relative hash rate is so low compared to Bitcoin's. So using this analogy of bank vaults, BSV really is a bank vault made out of straw compared to BTC. BCH is a bank vault made out of wood compared to BTC. And BTC really is the only bank vault in this space that is made out of steel. What's the moral of this story? The moral is you never want to own a cryptocurrency or crypto asset that has a lower hash rate than other cryptos that are mined with the same equipment, in this case, SHA-256 equipment, which is really not good for anything else except for mining one of these cryptocurrencies. And obviously, people will choose to mine the more successful one, which is BTC. I'm going to link to these various websites that can show you the network for BSV, for BCH, and for BTC. So you can do a comparison as, as well as a hash calculator that will allow you to convert between petahashes, petahashes, and exahashes, for example. So you can play around with this. Now, what happens when you have a really weak hash rate? What happens is you become victim. You become victim to 51% attacks. Here's an article from August of 2021. BSV, Bitcoin SV, rocked by three 51% attacks in three months. And the same thing happened in 2022. This is an article from October 23 of 2022, where there was an unknown miner on BSV that was attacking the chain by doing a denial of service attack, an empty block attack. And this was going on and on. And people believe that basically this was an unknown miner that was trolling the project. I would guess it was probably a BTC miner having some fun. Now, when your security like BSV is so weak and pathetic, you're forced to rely on the legacy legal system and threaten and sue people. In my opinion, that's so cypherpunk, right? And this is exactly what BSV has done. Don't be fooled by them. Don't be fooled by the Bitcoin Association.net. Here's that article from October of 2022. Bitcoin Association is taking action to contact all relevant exchanges and miners to freeze all block rewards associated with this malicious miner. So we here we have a very centralized project that actually takes legal action and is able to do this. This is something that never happens with BTC, which is another clue that there might be something very fishy going on with BSV. But whatever this may be, the fact remains that both Bcash and BSV have much, much lower hash rates using SHA-256 than BTC does. And as such, it makes them quite inferior. And the market has figured this out, which is why BT BCH and BSV are trending to zero against Bitcoin. So if you're holding Bcash, you're holding BSV, you should know that you have your money in a straw safe or a wood safe, and you can be attacked at any time by Bitcoin miners that want to have a little bit of fun with your chain. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.